get those last plates. Right? Yeah. Slow up. Okay, so we just finished shooting uh, with the Lucid HD7 Gen 3 flat dark earth color. And I have to tell you, it is at least every bit as good as the original one was that I tested in previous videos. And I'll put those links in the description. Now, some of the upgrades to the Gen 3 is it's got turret caps, which is one big advantage. The other advantage is that it's got what I feel are some better reticles for instinctive and combat style shooting. Everything about the Lucid is solid. Uh, once I found out where I was hitting, I was able to adjust my point of impact to match my point of aim, and it was rock solid. It gave me no problems. Um, the field of view is a little narrow, but considering uh, one negative, to a bunch of positives, it's well worth it when you, especially when you consider the dollar value. These things are retailing, you know, under 250 most places that I've seen, and that makes that one hell of a good value. Uh, really, bang for the buck is spot on. If I was going to have any change to it, I tell them, you know, hey, let's go for one that's got uh, maybe uh, three power, four power. But I understand those are coming, so be patient for those. Um, a wider field of view would be nice, but really for its intents and purposes, it's it's probably your best option on the market for the price range. The other thing I like about the Lucid HD7 Gen 3 is just like the first one, you're able to uh, zero in fire a tight group, switch reticle patterns to something different that might better suit your situation, fire another group, and have no point of impact shift from your original point of aim, point of impact. That right there is money. That is sign of a quality optic. Another thing that helped, on a day like this we had lots of clouds moving in and out. The reticle brightness in auto mode automatically adjust the brightness so I never had to adjust the brightness up or down so that's a good thing well it's been a beautiful day here in North Krakalaka the humidity is about 95 percent and it's hot time to call it a day cheers